Thank you very much, Dan. I appreciate that uh, introduction. It was a little heavy last night. So. <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Robertson, I certainly appreciate what your presentation and it's certainly interesting. I um, evidence-based, science-based. I talk about it everywhere. I speak around the world. It's so important. I think, though, I'll take Andrew's lead, and when when it comes to um, De and Devin into the issue, I think I'll leave it to you, Doctor, and you did a fine job of it, and thank you very much indeed. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I would like to thank you very much for this invitation and the very warm welcome and reception that we had last evening. I'm really looking forward to the discussions that we're having, and they're certainly interesting. It's great to see so many elected officials and Stakeholders from both sides of the border here today, including senators, representatives of State Commission on Agriculture. I also want to recognize my Canadian colleagues who are here today from British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Yukon, and the Northwest Territories, and a number of my colleagues from the Parliament of Canada. Thanks you, thank you for letting a little guy from P, not too little, but little, from PEI join you today. And I want to try to bring a little bit of the East Coast flavor to your event. Prince Edward Island is a very hospitable place, and this area certainly is too, and it's a pleasure to be here. Not only is your weather so beautiful, but your attitude and your people are so, so receptive. It's really nice. This organization is a tremendous form of strength of strengthening our integrated industries. This is especially true for agriculture. Your organization truly is the golden standard for Canada-US relations. You're doing a great job on agricultural files such as initiatives under the Regulatory Cooperation Council and your own cross-border livestock health working group. This work certainly helps enhance our trading partnerships. I also applaud your work on sustainable agriculture and other important issues from uh, invasive species and forestry and, in, and energy. My message to you today is quite simple. The Government of Canada is committed to working with you to strengthen the Canada-US relationship for the good of our businesses, our jobs, our citizens, and our economies. Today I want to touch on three key areas that are vital to strengthening the relationship between Canada and the United States. And that is growing our trade and our economies, the importance of NAFTA, and building on our common interests. The Canada-US relationship is strong, balanced, and beneficial to both of our great nations. We're the envy of the world and there is good reason for that. Our friendship plays out on so many levels, federal, provincial, uh, state, territorial, industry, and academic. That's really where the rubber hits the road on trade and other pillars of our relationship, and that is at the provincial and state level. That is why all of you in this room are so critical to the success of the industry in both of our countries. Last year, your member states and provinces contributed uh, a full 20% to the overall trade in agriculture and food between Canada and the United States. Our mutual cooperation has created an environment where Canada and Amer Canadian and American companies don't just sell things to each other. More and more companies are making things together. Uh, just for an example, let's talk about the beer. When I travel, I have uh, agricultural tasters that come with me. And we were tasting your, 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 your beer last night, and uh, the fact is the hops come probably from British Columbia. They come down here and you make the beer. And I guess the truth is we buy the most of it back. But anyway. <laughs> and I understand we're one of your biggest uh, purchasers of wine. And, uh, there's certainly great wines in this country. We had a great evening last night, and we tasted a lot of your wines, and without a doubt, we had a wine expert with us on the specialty on this trip. Last year, some, uh, some $47 billion in agriculture and food products crossed our borders. That's a big deal, that's a big deal. That amounts to over $10 million from we're just here today. 
We, uh, we trade most agriculture and food products. We trade more agriculture and food products with each other than anybody else in the world. Over two thirds of the US states count on Canada as their number one export. Right across the United States, some nine million jobs depend on trade and investment with Canada, including almost 400,000 jobs across the states. And I can assure you that same thing and issue is the same in our country. Your investment in our country creates jobs in our country. And, the, and you uh, value add to our product. Perhaps part of it is done in Canada, then more is done in the U.S. It can come back to Canada to be finished and sold in both countries. It's certainly a gem working together. I, I, now I've thrown around a lot of numbers, uh, but these numbers tell a pretty important story. If we grow our trade, we grow our economies together. 